discussed, I have just put the format of purchase book here. Now, whether it is purchase book, sales book, purchase written, sales written, you can take this as a general format. Only difference would be the number of columns will remain same, the headings will remain same, except this column, the third column, remember, you have to change the name according to the particular subsidiary book which you will prepare later. For example, for purchase book, the third column is for inward invoice number. We have already discussed what is invoice. So, what the number which is there on that, we write it here. If in the problem it is given, we enter, otherwise we ignore that. Now, first purchase book being journal, that is special journal. Naturally, it will have the features of what you have seen, the format of a journal entries. For example, we have a date. So, here also we have a date. So, there we have a particulars. Here also we have particulars. We have extra one inward invoice number column here. Then LF, that is ledger folio. We have only one amount column. In simple journal, we have two amount columns. Here we have only one amount column. So, let us recap what are the columns we have for purchase book. We have date column, we have particulars column, we have inward invoice number, we have ledger folio, we have an amount column. In some books, you might find few other columns, they are used only if required. Now, as you know, in date, we have to record the date. Now, what is this particulars column used for? It is very simple. What we have to do, let us say, I take one example of a transaction. The transaction is, let us say on 1st Jan, we purchase, the transaction is purchased goods from A, rupees 6000. So, what simply I have to do is, mention the date in date column. So, the date is 1st Jan. Then, just mention the name of the person from whom you purchase the goods in particular column. Here we have taken it as A and simply enter this amount in amount column. Suppose another transaction, let us say 11th Jan, same it is purchased goods from X rupees 1000. So what I have to do, give the date 11th Jan. Simply write name of X in the particulars column and enter the amount in amount column. So, this is how we prepare purchase book. Then what we have to do this at the end, we have to total. Let us say here we have, it is 7000. Now, the date is usually end of the month. So, January has 31 days. So, 31 Jan, we say transferred to purchases account. I have to mention this. So, this is how we prepare purchases book.